Hey there everyone, uh, NJ Fossils here. I'm out for a Halloween fossil hunt, so happy late Halloween for whenever you guys see this. Um, today we're hunting for some Paleocene fossils. Uh, shark teeth are rare at this site, but I have found a couple. And uh, I know you can find crocodile material here, but mostly invertebrates. You can find um, some sponges, a lot of bivalves, and some brachiopods also. So hopefully we have some luck there. I'm sure we'll find some of the invertebrates, but some vertebrate finds would be pretty cool too. So uh, follow along and let's see how we do today. I just found this really nice section of sponge, uh, Piranodella. Um, there. One of the more common fossils you can find here, but this is a pretty nice one. Um, has a lot of different branches. And you can see all the individual structures here, all the little dots. That's really nice. Another little section of one of those sponges right here. Not bad. This is what we've got so far. That little uh, invertebrate that we found before, probably a bivalve, and then three sections of that sponge. Here's another smaller little chunk of that sponge. A lot of trash and broken glass down here too. Gotta be careful of that. That's not bad. You could still see all the original structures to it. Just, uh, it's a little bit more worn down than some of the others. Oh, here's another little section of one. We're having a lot of luck with them so far. The sponges. Tiny little section of one. Alright, I'm gonna move on to a, a different section of the stream. And we'll see if there's any more uh, gravel bar exposed. I just made it up to a new bank. Um, there's a lot of leaf cover over here. Uh, all the leaves are starting to fall, but I'll clear some of them off and we'll see how this uh, gravel bank looks with some of the leaves cleared off. So while I was clearing the leaves off the bank, found another one of those sponges right here. That's pretty nice. I wasn't even really starting to look yet. I was just, uh, while well, I was getting some of the leaves off. I just found another little section of the sponge and then Here's a nice bivalve. Both valves are still together, but you could see they were starting to separate. So the shells were getting pulled apart during the fossilization process. So now they're not quite centered on each other. That's still a pretty cool find. This looks like a partial brachiopod stein kern. Here's the pedicle valve right here. The bottom valve is not quite fossilized and neither is the end up here. But I think this might be an only a thyrus stein kern. They're a really common Paleocene brachiopod. Um, I have a few examples of original shell um, fossils of only a thyrus that I can put in a side-by-side -side with this one just to show you guys. Here's something that's kind of cool. Here's a concretion of Hornerstown matrix, and then there's definitely, like this right here is a fossil still stuck in the matrix. I might try to prep that out when I get home. found my first section of a shark tooth for the day. It's really, really beat up and would have been a small sand tiger probably. But shark teeth are pretty rare here, so I'm going to hang on to it. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find a few more. But uh, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. It's really tough to, uh, to go fossil hunting around this time of year just because of all the leaves falling off the trees. Uh, they just totally cover the banks and make surface hunting almost impossible. So I'm trying to clear some of them out of the way, see if we can make anything workable around here. And then maybe I'll try sifting if surface hunting is really not working out. I think this would have been a section of crocodile tooth. Definitely looks like reptilian enamel. And there would have been the conical cavity in the middle. Man, that would have been really nice to find a complete one of. Well, here's a gastropod, nice little snail. That's actually pretty cool. I haven't found a snail stein kern here yet. So that's nice, that's co cool to find. Maybe I'll try sifting right here. There seems to be a ton right on the surface. So I'm sure there's a little bit more right below the surface too. So I think I'll do that after I finish clearing off all the leaves of this, in this area. Well, here's a really big Olneothyra stein kern. It, it's broken, unfortunately. But that's pretty cool. That's the largest stein kern of this species that I have. I think this is a little coral that I just found. 
I'll have to look into that though and get a, a definitive ID for you guys um, after I get home. Still cool though. I haven't found something like that here yet. I, uh, I just started sifting because I'd hit a bit of a dry spell while uh, surface hunting. We'll see how that goes. A broken chunk of that sponge. Smaller little chunk of that sponge. I might hang on to that one. It's kind of nice. Just found another Oleothyrus steinkern in this last sift. This one actually has some of the identifiable features. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It's just missing this back part here, closer to the pedicle valve, which would have been right here. And here's the reverse side. Um, hopefully we could find a nice complete one of these. That would be cool. I might do a couple more sifts on this bank and then move downstream a ways um, and either try sifting again or try surface hunting there. But yeah, this is a nice one. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, it's pretty cool. Here's the back portion of an only Oleothyrus brachiopod. I'll probably leave this one here. There's really not much left to it. Here's a nice chunk of one of those sponges. A lot of different branches coming off of it. This is a pretty cool find. Oh, here's a nice complete brachiopod. Nice little Oleothyrus. Whoops. Nice Oleothyrus. It's totally complete and intact. Here you go, a little bit smaller than the other ones we were finding, but it's nice to finally find a complete one. Just kind of crawling around on the bank now, uh, clearing all the leaves off of it to give myself a clean surface to hunt on. Um, it's probably the biggest challenge about hunting this time of year. Like the weather's beautiful, but all the leaves cover the bank and uh, then you're out of luck. You can't do any surface hunting, which is usually how I do the bulk of my fossil hunting. Just, just found a nice, only a thyristine kern, a nice little guy. in good shape, nice and complete. Just found another only a thyrist partial stein kern. And then this looks like a little coral in here behind whatever this is still attached to it. But I'll try to prep that out and see what's under all that rock there. That was a nice sift though, even though they're partials and mysteries. All right, it's about time for me to head out. I didn't have a great day on the vertebrate side of things, but I found a lot of cool invertebrate steinkerns. Uh, lots of Piranodella sponges and um, a few only Athyrus steinkerns. I only found one the last trip I came here, but I found a near perfect one and then a couple others that were partial. So thanks for following along and I'll catch you guys next time.